spiritual journey is going on. The Course is even saying that, that nothing you've ever experienced will, will prepare you for the experience of, of remembrance of your identity. No matter how glorious all your miracle working will be, it won't even come close to the final, the final crescendo, the, the best for last. Not so much in a, in a linear sense, but more of an inward sense, when you finally are taken finally into the blazing light, you know, it, it will leave you speechless. <laughs> there will be no words. And I just think of all these parables, like one time I was coming, I was going to be flying out to San Francisco and I called a friend of mine who had just moved from New York to, to California, Southern California. And I said, uh, she was a singer, songwriter, and guitarist, and, and I just said, uh, her name was Miki, M-I-K-I, and I said, um, why don't you just go on tour with me, like I fly to San Francisco, and you fly up there, and then we'll, we'll just take a, a car down the coast, because your parents are on the coast, we'll visit them, and we'll just do a, a, a California tour. So we've, I've, and she was like, well, I would love to go with you on a little California tour, but you know, I'd have to get, get off of my job, and I said, well, you could do that, she's like, uh, and she said, well, and my boyfriend is not so keen about the idea, really, uh, of us going on a little tour, and so she said, you know, he, you would have to talk to him, would you call him, would you call and talk to my boyfriend? I said, sure. No problem. So I called him and we just had a great talk and it was just very adorable and we had this adorable talk. Later on she would say, he was stoned. I would have loved to have him have a conversation with you when he's not stoned. But anyway, whatever, spirit works it out. He was stoned. I had a great, glorious journey with him. I don't, can't tell whether people were stoned or not. I'm high, so how am I supposed to <laughs> somebody stoned? So I was high. We had this great conversation, and he's like, okay, yeah, man, all right, it's, I'm cool with it, I'm cool with it. I said, okay, he's cool with it. So I flew out to San Francisco, and we were in San Francisco, and I said, while we are in San Francisco, they had this big Zen, like Japanese Zen uh, meditation garden, and I think her mother was Japanese, so we went there. We shot a music video to one of her songs on her album. We had the cameraman show up. A friend of mine showed up, her little boy was there, who was a real ham, and it was, who was the main star in the music video. And in this beautiful meditation garden, we shot in one day uh, an entire uh, uh, music video. Thomas showed up as well, who was a great cinematographer and everything. So everything showed up. Then we took off and we were going down, down, down the coast. We stopped and visited her mother, father, we stopped at their family's house, we had a great time. Then we went down and we're coming down towards Santa Barbara and we we're supposed to go on live um, television. And we're coming down and she's like, well you know, I've got a couple things that I really am thinking a lot about. And I said, what? Anything. The Holy Spirit. You're doing this for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you everything because you're willing this to be part of these miracles. And so she's like, well, two things. I said, just ask anything. She said, I actually would like to have an authentic Mexican burrito for lunch. I said, that should be no problem at all. And, and what else? And she said, well, she flew, she brought a small guitar, not her full guitar that she's most comfortable with the strings, because in the plane she couldn't fit. She said, I've got, the guitar is too small to go on live television, because my fingers, you know, is, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm anxious to even go on live television, much less with this small guitar. I said, well, what do you want? She said, I want a full-size guitar, and I want it, you know, I'd like it to be strong with my favorite strings, and I want a Mexican, authentic Mexican burrito. Mm -hmm. So we're on the highway, and I'm saying, okay, so we're driving along, I said, okay, I pull the car off to the next exit, we go over there, and I look, look! There's a music store. What was right next to the music store was authentic Mexican burritos. We went into the music store, and then the guy in there was just so loving. He said, how can I help you? And there was um, a 
famous guitarist, a famous female guitarist, one of the most famous female guitarists, who had, who had left one of her guitars, it was my friend's idol, had left one of her guitars in the shop, and the guy offered to let my friend Mickey use this Legends <laughs> guitar, and said to Mickey, what would you like me? I could string it with any, <laughs> any guitar strings that you want. And she picked the very kind. So she had her idol, her Legends guitar, and the strings just the way she wanted them, and the authentic mix. It's like the Holy Spirit so easily, just like, blah, blah, blah. is this? You know, the Course says you don't ask for too much, you ask for far too little. But if you're willing to be a miracle worker, if you're willing to just shine your love and light and joy for God, then everything gets added unto you that would actually help you serve in, in the most kind of magical way. Really, it's, it's just how the miracle works. But those are the kind of, if you have a bunch of those kind of experiences over and over and over and over, and you start to realize that this is now your life as a miracle worker, it, it's just the way your life goes. Mm -hmm. But you see how it's a convincing job. Like, you know, it seems like from the human perspective, I don't know how I'm going to go from where I seem to be into this miracle working thing that the Course is talking about, but it's actually just saying, oh, just be willing to be of true service, be willing to plug in, and, and it will all be given in the most miraculous way, you know, the most joyful, glorious way. <laughs>